There was yeah. one graph, um, which I just yeah, find sure. here now pop up. This graph actually is showing, um, this is, um, it's showing fundamentally China keeps publishing fewer and fewer economic statistics. So this is from JP Morgan and it's showing that fundamentally at the height of 2010, they're releasing about on its way towards 90,000 kind of bits of information. Now coming towards the end, we're less than 10,000. Mm. Each year they're getting less and less trying to keep themselves more quiet. For them as a market, then releasing less data, do you yep. think, oh, it's even more of a reason to stay away? Yeah, so I think uh, the, um, I would I would take that with a pinch of salt because it's from JP Morgan. And that there is, um, make, we, we can sit here and uh, we can sit here and say this because we can, we, we're not US. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But there is, there's always that, that tension, that grapple between the two. And, and I don't disagree with a lot of the, the um, views that, uh, the data out of China isn't always reliable. I do, yes. I do get that, and it's true. Um, but the US probably go a little bit too far with it. Um, but having said all that, and kind of whirling back around to it, is yeah, it's concerning because you know, what do you do with that then? Um, and particularly where <laughs> to start off with, you got a lot of data, but you can't really trust it. Mm. And now less data, which you still can't trust. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So which, like, mm, okay. You, well, yeah. actually, it's really Sounds interesting. Like social media. There is a t- yeah, <laughs> exactly. there is a real tie, t- uh, interesting tie to Japan, because what people are concerned about with China now, because the reopening last year didn't really kick off mm. like it was supposed to do, yeah, yeah. and it is quite languid, and it's not really firing up like we'd expected it to do. There is this worry of the Japanification of China, that it might turn into the next Japan and have that period of time of 15, 20 years of very, very Just, little yeah. growth. Um, well, their pop- I don't think their that population is in a different position as well, isn't it? The population is getting older. The younger population wants to travel. It's yeah, um, yeah. Their their mentality, you yeah. could say, is becoming more Western from the younger it's, generation. Yeah, it, it, it is more Westernized. But I think that I think the challenge with that is the the big difference between the two. Obviously, is the political landscape. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that will always be the challenge that you have. When Always you see videos come on social media of people sat down outside and taking photos of their face by a police just to check that they are actually stayed in the correct social area and everything, you're like, yeah, yeah, that's a bit yeah. scary. Yeah, um, yeah that yeah. really is. Well, that's this is the, nice. that's, this is where we're really fortunate. We get to talk to a lot of interesting people with that are our members that run businesses and um, what one had uh, has got a business that's uh, Stoke based, mm-hmm. uh, third generation business, but actually most of its manufacturing in China has been for 25 years. Spends a lot of time over there knows it inside out and backwards and um what they're seeing on the ground is a significant slowdown yeah you know in terms of factories closing manufacturers slowing down um and and that's actually that's a, the have real a world fact. experience yeah. so actually when you t- read about china slowing down and, and actually not being as big as it was and then also you've got uh the us talking about re- reshoring friendshoring onshoring um, bringing manufacturing back to, to more friendlier nations or, or even back to the US and, and Mexico and what have you. That all leads into a story of where actually China, although kind of, you know, year to date, it's got, you know, it, it, it's hit bottom and, and it's flow, flown back up for a period of time. From a stock market perspective, you do worry about growth in China because of those reasons. Yeah, and that's kind of interesting to get those insights to back up the kind of evidence that you're looking at. Anyway, yeah, 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 it's really, really interesting. It's gonna be a longevity play, whichever way you go, you bet in people are gonna bet both ways, aren't they? On that, mm. it's gonna yeah, be, yeah, of course, yeah, 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 it's gonna and be th- interesting, yeah. And uh, but there's still lots of amazing companies in, in China, in tech companies, you know, we talk about tech. Um, I think Alibaba and, and, and Tencent are trading like five or six times earnings. <laughs> And, you know, U.S. firms are trading 25, 30, 40 times earnings. 35 times. What do you call it? Al- yeah. Alibaba? Is it, did Al- I? What do you, I call it Ali, Alibaba. Oh, okay. Yeah, Alibaba? Yeah. Alibaba. Alibaba. I've gone posh. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's because of JCB, I've gone posh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a company you want to trade it, but you'd yeah. be like, oh, it's an interesting oh, company. would yeah, I absolutely. take the risk? Yeah, or are they going to right. suddenly stop? Or yeah, yeah. He, what was it? Yeah. I can't remember the name of the CEO of the story, but like he just vanished for a little bit, didn't Jack he? Jack yeah, just kind of, yeah. Um, it did indeed. Yeah, um, yeah. There is actually a bit worrying, and, and and the state ownership in Chinese companies has always been a concern for investors. Yeah, and in fact, you can buy, and there are re- ETFs. Well, TikTok right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, buy like, dance. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. What do you do? Like, obviously, the more and more, even over there, you can't have it if you work in the military, and the kind of fundamentally, if it's going to still be a Chinese company, they want it 
gone. Yeah, absolutely. And they're putting things in place. I think America they're usually, are getting rid of Usually it. yeah. it's normally they a talking going. point, but as I feel it's become more of a talking point. Yeah. It's become like Don't, an actionable point. I yeah, genuinely yeah, absolutely. think it's it is going to disappear in yeah, America. Yeah, I, 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 I think it is. Think it's I, I do gone. think it is. Yeah. Or it's an opportunity for, for, for well, someone to was buy. The, who was who it yeah. talking the other day saying, like, well, how much is it? Um, O'Leary. Um, what's his name? Michael O'Leary, is it? Oh, no, uh, Mr. Um, Wonderful. Uh, oh, Kevin O'Leary. Kevin O'Leary. O'Shea, I don't know why yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. I, don't know who, yeah. I don't know who Michael is. <laughs> anyway, Kevin, speaking about like opportunities, thinking about... Yeah. like It's a massive opportunity for somebody to huge. like... Yeah. With yeah. a... Well, even if you think TikTok shop, yeah. buying it all from China, the yeah, irony yeah. of it, they yeah. need it in there to keep China yeah. processing that And in sort fairness, of stuff. T- you know, t- TikTok completely redefined the other social platforms mm-hmm. they cre- you know they were the one that led with short form video oh God, which yeah. was for music originally wasn't it yeah, yeah. Um, and Musical then, everything, coming that way. The and then Instagram and yeah. everything else went yeah. to short everything's form everything's adapted that way even YouTube it's like they've short TikTok form reels. themselves didn't they they've actually yeah. Yeah. TikTok <laughs> has shortened <laughs> they their brain to. span <laughs> yeah it's true <laughs> that is what it is more than 30 seconds I'm not interested I have not got that kind of span how long have we done this podcast for now 30 minutes right I'm out see you later literally but what you can't just saying about the the ETF because of the concern about Chinese companies and and ownership by the state yeah. uh, with this this kind of conversation is that that you can buy ETFs if you want to have access to Chinese companies you, there's a, a China X state owned so it only buys yeah. uh, firms in co- listed companies in China that are not owned by the state or part owned by the state but how do you even find out if that's real or not? well it's true you, you need people that are on the ground you need yeah. you need yeah. somebody that to has be to be sat in their yeah. boardroom that's right and literally being like who Correct. are you who are you who knew and, and that's, that's literally what you would have that's where the 12.5 yeah. billion that's, in scams that's what have what they gone do. <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, true but, you know, but that's, that's legit you have yeah, to be yeah. on the ground you that's can't that's literally what they would do you can it's beyond that. Yeah. You literally, I'd have to, you'd have to fly over there. So by, you know, by by owning share, you know, with owning shares within the companies, they would have influence or an understanding or even access or even seats on the board, depending yeah. on what, yeah. depending on what fund it is and I mean, the size of it. When like, you're I'm dealing saying. with, okay, I do have one question then. So if you're dealing with a fund that's your own money, okay, you make that decision personally. If you're dealing with a pension fund or something larger or mm. or yep. your investment fund, yeah, um, obviously you don't invest purely in stocks in that sort of way. Mm. But if you were investing large amount, how would you make the decision to be like, okay, we're gonna put 10% of our fund in there. Would you be like, Wes, I'm gonna get on a flight to China now. I need to go and check that this person does exist. Absolutely, so we, we um, through our, uh, just give you an example, not that this isn't the same, but yes, you would, is the, the quick answer. But um, with, with, uh, the, with the way I carry out research, um, we access analysts and economists that are based in ah, so yeah. the That's my region. G- I live there. Yeah. I know where yeah. the local coffee shop is, exactly. the restaurant, and I know yeah. who actually owns that building, Correct. not what's on TikTok. Uh, yeah. yeah, and, and they will, 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 will have meetings with the board. Because if, you, you know, if, if you're a listed company, you, 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 know, you have to publish your accounts. You, know? yeah. you have to have um, shareholder meetings, AGMs. Mm. So you Legitimate, have to have that kind of... Hard yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. 